There are racing cars, and there are racing cars. And this is one like you've never seen before. The Nissan Delta Wing is a radical new car that could change the face of motor racing forever. The car will reach a top speed of 300 kilometers an hour, yet that comes from just a 1.6 litre engine. This is a very significant step for the industry. Basically, we're going to be competing at the same speed as the premier status cars, but we're going to be doing it on half the fuel. And we've done that by halving the weight and halving the aerodynamic drag, whilst also being able to therefore halve the power. And this gives us this efficiency step. And basically, we're able to use a 1.6 litre DIGT turbo engine from Nissan. And this is really an extraordinary step. And I think that it will it'll shake the world, actually. The radical car design means that the driver sits almost over the rear axle and stares down the long, narrow fuselage to specially created twin front tyres that are just four inches wide. The organisers of the legendary Le Mans 24 Hours have invited the team to take part in this year's race. Le Mans is the greatest challenge in motorsport. It's an endurance event over 24 hours. Uh, the, the point of what we're trying to show here is that we can do this race and use half the fuel and half the tyres of anybody else. And what we're going to show, I believe, is the value of efficiency and showcase what the auto industry is planning to bring to the consumer in the future. Nissan has always been innovative. We were the first ones to bring an electric-powered vehicle to the masses. This thing is even bolder. We're going to Le Mans and we're going to use half the fuel of our competitors. But it's not just motorsport that the car could shake up. Nissan is a founding partner of the project and is looking to use the Delta Wing to research and develop future technologies that can be filtered down into Nissan's road cars. I can't wait to drive this car at Le Mans. The Nissan Delta Wing is definitely capturing people's imagination. I think. The thing that really got me was I, I went for dinner with my friends the day after I'd driven it and I showed them some pictures and all the guys were like, wow, that's really nice and I showed it to my friend's eight-year-old son and he was just blown away by it. He's like, wow, what was that? And he just wants to see it in the flesh. And that for me is fantastic for the future of our sport that people can engage with something like that. Kids love it and yeah, just can't wait to get it out there and show it off to the crowds in France.